We're a district referral hospital for a huge area, uh, and it's a full service hospital um, that has grown. So there's maternity, men's, peds. Uh, there used to be a lot of leprosy work here. Most of that's now done outpatient. Uh, there's a TB sanatorium, a surgical uh, um, a department, um, outpatient lab. There's even a lab school and a nursing school and um, uh, a Bible school here. Uh, so it's a, an old mission hospital um, that's grown since World War II. This is maternity. Um, here's our antenatal ward. Um, some babies uh, also where ladies before they deliver will be. Yeah, so then we're going to come into our labor room now. So here we have ladies um, in labor preparing for C-section. This is our postpartum floor. These are ladies after they've had C-sections. Mamas who are recovering. Sometimes we have women who've had symphysiotomies, which is very rare now. They used to be more common. Um, more of our postpartum C-section floor. This is our men's ward. This is my favorite successful project. There used to be no trash cans in the hospital. We still need more, but... <laughs> so this is part of men's ward. So now we're going to go into our operating room and ICU. This is one of the most beautiful ORs anybody will ever have. So this is our dirty room where we do like gangrene, dental abscess, you know, all kinds of uh, things, amputations. Very organized and this is our the, the big the general OR room where we do laparotomies, C sections, and other things. caminhada pelo hospital para o pessoal de fora poder também andar ah, é com isso nós. É isso. So this is our ICU, which is essentially like a step down unit. Here is our oh there you have the, our meds available. And this is our one of our eclamptics. We have a lot of Issues this year with, uh, with not having magnesium sulfate, which is the medicine that we need to prevent seizures and eclampsia. So, I don't have any visit. Oh, yeah, Keisha, the mic. And this is where our chronic uh, patients and patients that need rehabilitation stay. <laughs> Okay. This is one of our um, forceps deliveries from maternity. So she's here for an extended period of time for rehabilitation. We also sometimes send our fistula patients here once, um, or patients who've had uterine rupture or obstructed labor who need uh, extended help um, with um, rehab. Um, and then afterwards, we'll do their surgical repair. The two Lucas and uh, the gentleman who was there before, um, Hugh Chipa, uh, make prostheses um, and uh, muletas. What is that called? Walkers. Walkers. <laughs> from the uh, often from the eucalyptus trees that grow right on the mission compound. So this is the pediatric ward. This is often where we have overflow patients. Um, and so there's a variety of diagnoses here, like pneumonia, malaria. Uh, this used to be the main entrance, um, but then we had too many patients, so then now we keep This is men's ward. We don't have covers, 
And these are actually cadaver uh, bags because we don't have the right material to, to cover our mattresses. And so then obviously they're, they're supposed to be sort of like single use only and then they rip. So these are our mattresses here. Uh, we're now on women's ward. Um, this is one of our ultrasound rooms. This is going to be our pharmacy. No, no, no. And so we are at our pharmacy here. This is our uh, Angolan trained pharmacist. Um, so he's supposed to be coordinating this too. Oh, this is our newly rehabilitated x ray floor. I love it! This looks great! These are very, very old machines. Uh, some German machines from like, I don't know, the 1950s or something, or 60s. But they, this one is anyway, this one's a newer one. Bodia! Bodia, And this dark room was in horrible condition, but now uh, it's rehabilitated. Oh, this is our dark room for developing the films, the x ray films. We're looking one day into getting a digital X-ray, but in the meantime, since our electric, our you know, our energy system is not very stable, we need to use old school stuff. This one works. This one does not. This is the older one. It's a Muller BB20. Isn't this beautiful? I'm so glad you're here in rainy season where you can see our. You know, they planted this just a few years ago. We have such a beautiful mission. Uh, Station and a hospital and a mission hospital. It's so gorgeous. We are now in our outpatient uh, uh, consult area. So this is where we'll be going. So this is our lab area where we do fecal analysis, urine analysis. And my colleague here does especially um, TB, big papas, assessment of sputum and stuff. And we're just coming down. This is the view up to the main road up there. Um, and the, about 10 years ago, they paved the road. So now we're the only hospital where you can, or the only place really between the two provincial capitals where you can get emergency medical care consistently 24-7. So this is our outpatient uh, waiting area and the windows where you can pick up your cards. And these cards, I mean, they're so organized and so beautifully maintained. But this is where you pick up your cards. This is where you um, get your initial consult or your triage. And that's where you pay. <laughs> we are in our hemotherapy unit where people get tested to be able to give blood uh, transfusions. We give uh, fresh whole blood here is the only type of um, blood product that we can give, but it's perfect. Okay, so this is where people donate blood. And this is the okay, But we're going to our HIV um, testing area. We haven't had antiretrovirals in I don't know how many months, but we still, we still have tests. This is Tiwi Zayas, our chef of the ER. Uh, we are now going into our emergency room, and this is uh, Emmanuel, one of our nurses. Okay. Oh. That was Kalukembe Mission Hospital.